Good afternoon, Smart Fans. WB8CXO. W8WKY. WB8CXO, KDSLG. How are you doing there, Mike? I'm doing good. Do you hear an echo on my signal? I didn't notice it. Okay, one of the problems with uh, when I transmit, uh, my audio doesn't make the live stream. But if I turn on the monitor uh, feature on the software, uh, I can hear myself uh, on the PC audio. It's a little disturbing uh, to me, uh, but I, I guess it's what you have to do if you want to be heard on your own live stream. Does that make sense? It does make sense. I, I guess the best thing to do would be to pop some headphones in there if you could or something. And I, I yeah, it's disturbing. I've tried to do it. Some people say they put one channel in one ear and one channel in the other ear. And uh, I try, uh, that would just make my head explode. Yeah, I might come up with a hardware modification that mutes the speakers when I transmit. That might not be too difficult to do. Probably not, no. Um, I'm sure there's some way. Uh, if anybody could figure it out, it's you. <laughs> well, I'm good at hacking stuff, so I guess uh, I guess it's a, a talent that got me through 51 years at the phone company. Roger, Roger. Um, yeah, that, that, that could help. All right, Nick, sign me in and out, um, please, if you will, and uh, have a great uh, net this afternoon. WB at CXO. WB8 CXO, KD8SLG. Thanks as always there, Mike. You're awesome. We're celebrating a four-year anniversary today, so it should be a lot of fun. And uh, I just posted you there in the, uh, in the blue screen so uh, everybody knows where to go. Thanks again, Mike. WB8CXO, KD8SLG. Have a great day. It's my pleasure, and thanks to you, Nick, for all that you do. Your intense support of uh, ham radio and uh, all the nets. WB8CXO. Awesome is here. I'm here. Okay, awesome. I'm going to put you right at the list there, uh, um, uh, Jim, but don't tell anybody, okay? And uh, so let everybody else scramble to get in there, and uh, Dustin should be calling on you pretty close to the top of the list. Uh, I think there's going to be one or two mobiles to check in there before you. Sound like a plan, Jim? Well, I gotta, I gotta make a trip, so I gotta get in here, in and out early, and maybe I get back in time to uh, make uh, the one for Ray. So just check me in and out, and I'll go get dressed, and we'll make a quick trip, go pay a bill before they shut it down. WB8 BMW. I'm, all right, Jim, I got you punched in and out there. Thanks a lot, man. You drive safe. We'll catch you later. WB8, oh, WB8 VMW, KD8SLG. KD8SLG, W8HRF. Guys, I got to link this thing up in a minute. W8HRF, what's up there, uh, Josh? Just saying hi and asking you to check me in and out. Have a good night, and thanks for running it. Catch you tonight. W8HRF clear. All right there, Josh. We'll see you tonight there, partner. I'll throw you in there and check you in and out. Thanks for uh, stopping. And uh, what are you out for lunch? Yes, sir. Just a 
jumped out to the car for a minute and uh, heard you on there and wanted to say hello. Uh, catch you tonight. WNHRF clear. All right, man. We'll see you then. WHRF, KDSLG. Well, let's hope that Nick has had some good rest because he needs it. And he's going to punch some buttons here in a minute. So, KCLQV, Nick is going to light it up. SLG, we're going to be linking up to the N5XQK Memorial Boredom Breaker Net for the next couple of hours. Net starts at the top of the hour in about a minute and 45 seconds. If everyone would please stand by and wait for the net to start, I'd appreciate it. It's KD8SLG. See you on the net. work better, but we'll see. But it messes with my tire pressure monitors. Hi, hi. <laughs> so we'll see how this works. I had got good reports on it yesterday, so I guess I'll keep it. But uh, once again, uh, have fun with whatever YouTube. What are you doing with YouTube, by the way? Uh, we, we got the, the YouTube up, and uh, if you can uh, plus bring up the uh, order breaker net onto the uh, YouTube, and you can see what it's doing. <laughs> now we're now we're linked up. Oh, so oh, yeah. you have to so you have to actually wear pants, huh? Uh, just about. Uh, my wife got help bring it up on the TV, and uh, you can just punch in the, the RCWA board and breaker net on the YouTube and it's done uh done through with the hang on. <laughs> I just had to turn the volume down but uh it's punch up uh, the R C W A uh Board and Breaker Net on YouTube every Wednesday. Behave yourself. I didn't copy that last comment. Uh, anyway, okay, well, let me back out of here and let the net get started, and I'll I'll be listening. You might as well stick me on the list. KI seven AY, Panama Jim, clear. Good afternoon, and welcome to the N five X UK Memorial Border Breaker Net in the fourth anniversary edition of the Border Breaker Net. My name is Dustin. My call sign is Katie ETC, and I'll be net control for the first hour today. Uh, the Border Breaker Net meets every day at noon Central Time on the RCWA or Peter All Star Note 49562 and Echo Link N5XPK R. Uh, this is a directed net. All traffic must pass through net control, and all stations are welcome to check in. We'll take multiple rounds of check in, so if you don't get in the first time, just stand by and we'll get to you as soon as possible. Uh, Let's see, uh, we're linked in with Arkansas, Virginia, and various other repeaters, so we ask that you key for a couple seconds before and after you transmit so we hear everything you have to say. Uh, before we start taking checks, is there any emergency or priority traffic, please call now. All right, nothing heard there. Stations waiting to check into the border breaker net. Please say your call phonetically, followed by alphabetically, along with your name and location. W H W K Y. November 5, Golf Lima, Oscar. November 5, Golf Lima. 
Ken Five, G L O, Bill, Old Harris, Texas. Kilo, call for four, Oscar Yankee Sierra, AG Four O Y S, Mobile, Kevin, and Lynchburg, Virginia. In and out. Have a good day. Kilo 4, India Tango, Quebec, K4ITQ Portable, Bend, Northern Chesterfield, Virginia. Hi, Dustin. KC8, Fox Queen, Victor, Mark, Aurora. Kilo Alpha 8, Mike, November Tango, Tom in Canton. This is Kilo Juliet 5, Delta Charlie Delta, Daniel, Houston, Texas. Kilo 8, Papa Julie Whiskey, K8, PJW, Philip in Twinsburg, Ohio. AI-5, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Charlie, the name's Bob in Oakwood Village, Ohio. All right, let me hold it up right there and make sure I've got it. Perfect. We picked up uh, dub we picked up uh, WBCXO, uh, Mike in there streaming the YouTube was in and out. We have WBBMW, Jim was in and out. We have KI7AY, Panama Jim. We have N5, GLO Bill, probably out there on the porch. We have AB8MO, uh, Mobile there at work, I believe. KG4OIS, Kevin was in and out. K4IDQ, Ben, uh, good afternoon to you. KC8FQV, Mark, the northern Mark. K8MNT, Tom. KJ5 DCD Daniel, we have K8 PJW Phil, we have KI5 TAQ Taco Tim, and uh, that last station there, uh, Bob in Oakwood, I think is where you said you were, uh, you got doubled with, uh, I didn't catch your call, would you come back with that again please? Yes, this is Kilo Charlie 8 Mike Romeo Charlie. All right, we got you that time. Uh, thanks for uh, coming back for me. Uh, appreciate that there. Uh, all right, we got a nice list here. So uh, let's see. Being the fourth anniversary of the Boredom Breaker Net, we're going to do things just a little bit differently today. And uh, when I get to you, we're going to ask you uh, how you first heard about the Boredom Breaker Net, and uh, then we'll tell you the uh, the first the date you first checked in there. So uh, we're going to start uh, with uh, KI7AY, uh, Panama Jim. Uh, how did you hear about the... Uh, the uh, Boredom Breaker Net, and uh, your first check-in was 2-3 uh, of 21. Take it away. Well, roger that. It's KI-7AY Panama Jim Mobile. Uh, I first heard about uh, Boredom Breakers from my friend Charles, KE-5-O-U-G, uh, in Tulsa. So, how many check-ins do you have for me? And then I'll turn it back over to Annette, and you can have it. KI-7AY. You know, I don't think I have the uh, total amount of check-ins there. Uh, I just have the uh, date when you first checked in there. Um, I'll tell you what, let me, uh, let me see what we can do with the powers that be, and uh, we'll get back to you on that here. But uh, your first in was... Uh, Two, three of 21, according to this. So uh, there you go. Uh, we'll say 73 to you for now. And we're going to go down and uh, let's talk to Bill, N5GLO. Uh, your first check in was uh, 1 1 of 23. Or wait, I can't, I got to get my mobiles there real quick. Sorry, Bill. Uh, I got to get Andy real quick. AB8MO. Uh, Andy, sorry, I totally missed you. Take it away. KD8 EPC and the boredom breaker net. This is AB8MO. It just gave me enough time to swallow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started eating my sandwich when uh, you just started going on the list. That's okay. 
I've, I've done that before. So uh, hey, I'm not too upset. I've, I've run a, I've run enough nets to to uh, give the net controller a little bit of grace because uh, I've been there, made the same mistakes. So uh, anyway, good afternoon from I think it's just cloudy Middlefield, Ohio. I don't know if it's raining, but uh, it's been a super soaker the last couple of days all over northern Ohio. So I'm looking. For to, uh, let's see, today's going to be my last day for the next week and a half here, taking uh, some vacation and looking forward to uh, catching up with some friends since I'll have uh, some extra time. So, not sure if any of that's going to materialize, but uh, I'm going to try to make it happen. So, uh, I forgot what else I was going to say. It's good to hear Bob checking in through 015. I was, uh, I was watching the dashboard there, so I saw he was checking in through there. So, glad to hear that uh, people on uh, the repeater are participating. Uh, that's always encouraging. So, may or may not be running a club net for the WADTD uh, Ward Amateur Radio Association tonight. I'm on standby. <laughs> so, you can get over there uh, tonight at 9 local time. Uh, probably hardly any of you can get into that repeater, but uh, I maybe might be running with that. We'll see. If not, I'll catch you all tonight on the Beacon Net. KDADPC and the man behind the curtain and everybody else. Oh, how did, oh, how did I hear about the net? I don't know. Either you or just Nick, I think. And I don't know. First six months, I thought it was the border breaker net. I'm like, what borders are you busting down? <laughs> uh, that's how I got. Back to you, AB and I'm out. All right there, Andy. Well, that makes vacation sounds like it should be good, and uh, hopefully we can get together there and uh, have some breakfast or lunch or something there, because it'd be good to see you in a little while. And uh, your first check-in was 5.30 of 21, according to this, so uh, there you go. We'll say 73 to you. I think that was all of my mobiles, so we're going to go back up here and uh, talk to Bill now. N5 at GLO, good afternoon. How are you there, Bill? And, uh, how did you first hear about the net? And your first check-in was one one of twenty-three. Here's how you alerted the group. Howdy, everybody. Uh, I heard about, about the group on a couple of the nets that I had uh, listened to that were also on the local repeater here. This is Charlie on the South Coast of Texas. And uh, like the other fellow, I've got a four people calling it the border breaker instead of border breakers, but that, that either way works. And, uh, but uh, then uh, on, that, uh, on that day, Charlie has to have it on, uh, on the South Coast Reflector, so it pops right up, and uh, I logged in, and it's kind of become a habit since then, most of the time, after that stuff has been finished. So uh, it's, uh, it's one of them five things. So enjoy it, and I'll be a little back at you. Right there, Bill. Well, so great to have you. Uh, you know, you become quite the regular. Every time I'm running a net, you're here, and uh, you usually end up showing up uh, over on the Beacon Nets, too, and we enjoy having you there also. So we'll say 73 to you for now. Uh, that brings me down the list here. Uh, let's see. Uh, KG4OYS, Kevin was in and out. Mobile will say hello to him, and that will bring me to Ben, K4ITQ. Uh, good afternoon there, Ben. Uh, How did you first hear about the uh, Boredom Breaker Night? Your first check-in was uh, 10, 9 of 21. Take it away. Good afternoon, Dustin. I heard my uh, heard about the net through Faye, and uh, not sure how many uh, check-ins I have, but uh, uh, we were glad to be the 50,000. Uh, hope you have a great net, and uh, it's raining here, and uh, uh, we got a, we're under a tornado watch, so uh, we'll see what happens. Have a great net, and uh, we look forward to next time. K4ITQ, back to net. W-H-W-K-Y. All right there. Yeah, you were number 50,000 on June 1st of 2022. Uh, yeah, we didn't do the total check-ins, but uh, maybe uh, the next time there's an anniversary, we'll do the uh, amount of check-ins, too. 
So uh, great to hear you, Ben. Try to stay dry, and uh, boy, I hope uh, the uh, weather stays all right for you and there's no tornadoes. Uh, they were saying yesterday we were supposed to get some severe weather, but uh, it was all south of us. We got nothing, a couple of rumbles and uh, some rain, so there you go. We'll say 73, my friend. Have a great day. And that brings me over to the northern mark, KC8FQV. Your first check-in was 1226 of 20. Take it away. FQV, Mark, take it away. All right, nothing heard. We'll come back to him in a minute. That brings me down to Tom. K-A-8-M-N-T, your first check-in was 3-2 uh, of 21. Take it away, Tom. Now, from another net that is running now parallel with this net, I sort of don't want to even talk about it. I did, case FQV. I, yeah, it's connected. I don't know why 96 ain't connected. KC8, Fox Queen Victor. KC. All right, let's try this again, Mark. Uh, you were in there. At, we were doubling for a second. I didn't hear you, so I moved on. But uh, let's give you one more shot here. Uh, KC8 FQV, one more time. Uh, take it away. All right, we're going to try it again. Um, yeah, it was another net that brought me to here. And I believe it when it was. And I don't even get... Well, I get along good with all the net control people there, but the management of that net, the Alaskan net, but that where I think I heard it, but we have guys that think I shouldn't be around, but it was the Alaskan net that gave it me the idea, I believe, so I'll send it back to net, KCFQV. Yeah, there's a little delay in the uh, YouTube feed. All right there, Mark. Well, uh, yeah, your first check-in was 1226 of 20, and uh, looks like you're, uh, you are checked in 2,101 times there, Mark. Uh, wow, we got a whole crew here feeding me information. Uh, Alex keeps it, keeps track of it. Uh, Ray's giving me the uh, number of check-ins, and uh, Nick's got the uh, first time you all checked in there. So uh, 1226 of 20 there, Mark. So we'll say 73 to you. And uh, that brings me over to K-A-8-M-N-T. Tom, your first check-in was 3-2 uh, of 21. Uh, How did you hear about this, the net? It says you've checked in here uh, 21 times. Take it away. KD-8-E-P-C, this is K-A-8-M-N-T. Thank you, Dustin. I'm not going to make any comments here. But I want to wish uh, a happy anniversary. I believe they said it was the fourth anniversary, and uh, it's still going really strong. So I think that's fantastic. Uh, I don't log in all the time, but there's a lot of time I sit here and listen, and uh, it brings me a chuckle a time or two, and uh, a little steam under the collar once in a while. But other than that, it's a fantastic net and a great idea, especially back during the uh, uh, dark days of COVID. So it was a, a little bit of light there. So it's fantastic. I want to thank these guys out there in uh, Oklahoma for doing what they were doing. And... Uh, uh, and thank you guys for getting us on board. So with that, I'm going to say 73s. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, keep smiling. This is Kilo Alpha 8 Mike November Tango, turning everything back over to the super 
super capable hands of K E or K D eight E P C. All right, there, Tom. Well, uh, we we enjoy having you on the net and uh, on all the nets we get to hear you on. And uh, it looks like your first check in was uh, three two of twenty one, and you checked in uh, twenty two times. And uh, then we got Daniel here next on the list is a uh, KJ five DCD. Uh, your first check in was twelve twenty seven of twenty three, and you've now checked in twice. Uh, how you doing, Daniel? And uh, how did you first hear about the net? KJ five DCD here. Um. Honestly, I was just searching for repeaters. I travel a lot for work, and it's a pretty good distance from Houston, Texas to Dallas, Texas. It's about four and a half, five hour drive. And uh, so I was searching, hunting up repeaters, and I found the South Coast, South Coast Reflector System, which patches into all over the country, evidently. And so, uh, you know, I'm just passing through. Got my ticket about eight months ago, General Ham, and uh, and it's just uh, enjoying the enjoying the hobby. So 7-3 to everybody on the net, and uh, back to net control, KJ5DCD. All right there, Daniel. Well, thanks so much for stopping by, and uh, yeah, we certainly enjoy having you, so uh, come back anytime. We're here every day at noon central time, and uh, we run a couple of hours there. We're going to say 73, and uh, we're going to go down to uh, Phil now, k 8 JW, Phil, you've checked in 62 times, and your first check-in was 12:20 of 21. Take it away. KD, ADPC, KAPJW. Uh, good afternoon, Dustin, and uh, thanks for doing the fourth anniversary net. It was, uh, I think, I heard about it from uh, you and Nick uh, when when you guys tried to link it up to. Our repeaters before for the for all three hours and that became too much for some people I guess. <laughs> anyway, I've, been, I've enjoyed it, enjoyed it when I could um, check in. And so uh, sometimes I go all through the day and then all of a sudden I'll look at the clock and say, Oh shoot, I missed it. <laughs> so, but I always I always think about it and uh, as the day goes on. Anyway, uh, thanks for doing the net and I'll hand it back to you. This is K H P J W. All right there, Phil, K-A-P-J-W. Well, great to have you with us, my friend, and uh, I'm glad you uh, looked at the clock and were able to make it in time to say hello to us. So uh, we'll say 73 to you for now and hope to hear you again this evening. And uh, that brings me back over to Oklahoma. We're going to go talk to Taco Tim, K-I-5-T-A-Q. Your first check-in was 1222 of 21, and you checked in 1149 times. Uh, take it away. Well, good afternoon, Nick and Dustin, and to everybody else on the net. Well, to answer the question, uh, it was thanks to a couple of guys I uh, at a church where I did my ham test for my to renew my license, and they said explore uh, nets and repeaters and uh, and get onto one and. That's what I did, and I've been on there ever since. <laughs> so, and that was also at the time when the, the boredom breaker net was uh, do, running uh, three hours. Now it's down to two hours, and I enjoy it uh, going home and or going to work, or as I call it, my playground. But I'll uh, send it back to you guys to net control. This is KI5TAQ. W H W K Y. All right, there, Tim. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, yeah, we uh, you don't want to have too much fun there at the playground, you know. So uh, we'll say 73 T, uh, and uh, we'll catch you down the log. Let's see. Next on the list here is KC8 MRC. Uh, Bob, your first check-in was uh, 8 10 of 22. You checked in 13 times, and. Uh, so, uh, Bob, tell us how you first heard about the net, and, uh, yeah, what's going on? Good afternoon, everybody. 
uh, how I heard about the net is that I just had a scanner on uh, monitoring repeater frequencies for any traffic that I can get into, and that's how I came across your uh, net. And that's about the gist of it right there. Uh, it's overcast here, off and on, sprinkles. Uh, hope we're going to have a clear day next day for the eclipse. So with that, I'll say 7-3 and turn it back to the net. This is KC8 MRC saying 7-3. All right there, Bob. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. We do appreciate it, and I'm hoping for a clear day also. Uh, we got the eclipse glasses, and uh, we're taking the day off because uh, they're saying traffic's going to be crazy potentially. I don't know, but uh, I was like, you know what? I'll take the day off and uh, just go enjoy myself elsewhere. So uh, we'll say 73, and I uh, hope to hear you again there down the log. All right, uh, let's go over and talk to Bill now, N8JET. Uh, your first check-in was 1123 of 23. You've checked in 80 times. Uh, take it away. KD8EDC and the group, N8JET. Well, good afternoon. Thanks for letting me in and uh, overlooking my uh, problems with Echolink. Um, I heard about it because it was mentioned on the uh, barometer net and uh, came out and checked it out and I'm kind of stuck here now with it. And uh, speaking of the eclipse, um, for where we are up in this neck of the woods in Avon, our beginning of the, the partial uh, eclipse starts exactly at the same time the second hour of the uh, order breaker net will start. So. I guess I won't be on the second hour next Monday. Back to you, Dustin, uh, KDA EPC and AJET. All right there, Bill. Well, yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I probably won't be on Monday either because uh, we're going to go out. Uh, we got a, a friend of ours has a property there, so we can come hang out and have a picnic at their uh, pavilion and stuff. So we're going to do that and, uh, should be a good uh, good thing there. We got the glasses, and uh going to be neat. I guess the last one that's going to go over Ohio for the next 100 years or something. So uh, there you go. We'll say 73 to you for now, and uh, we'll catch you down the log. Uh, we're going to take some more check-ins here, but uh, I got a few off the blue screen at Echo Link. I have K8UIB John. I have W3ETD Eddie. I have K5ABF, and I have K5CFY Mr. Ray there. But uh, in the meantime, do we have any other check-ins? For the uh, fourth anniversary edition of the Boredom Breaker Net, please call now. This is Hello, Delta 4, Yankee Beach to Features, KD4, YVV, Jeff in Virginia. KC5JVT, KC5JVT, Butch in Ardmore. This is Alpha India 5. Back AI5Q Mobile. Kilo Golf Bravo KHGB. This is November 8th, Juliet Echo Whiskey, Joe and Alliance, Ohio. Kilo India 5, Whiskey Delta Mike, Donald in the Osage in Oklahoma. Mike 7 Lima Golf Mike. Mike 7 Lima Golf Mike. Kilo Quebec 4, Papa Victor. YVV Jeff, we have KC5 JVT Butch, I have AI5QJ 
Jairus in the mobile. I have KEGB Dave. I have NHGEW Joe. I have Mike 7 Lima Golf Mike. Uh, let's see. Looks like, uh, oh boy. Thomas. I have KI5 WDM Donald. And uh, I have W7 STT Cal. Uh, there was one station there before Cal and after Donald that I missed. Uh, would that station I missed come back? All right, nothing heard. Let's uh, let's go back up here and uh, start at the top. Or actually, we have a mobile we got to hit real quick. AI5Q, my good friend Jairus, how did you hear about the net? Your first check-in was 529 of 20, and you've checked in 722 times. Take it away. Well, good afternoon, Dustin and Nick, and uh, I hate to dispute your record, but I'm actually number two on the roster, <clears throat> and I checked in on uh, April the 5th, the first time that uh, Alex started keeping track of stuff, uh, April 5th or 6th, so look up Alpha Golf 5 Yankee Golf, and that'll be my actual first check-in. Um, I just heard about it on the uh, airwaves. I was a relatively newly minted ham. And I uh, just had a mobile with a uh, antenna stuck to a metal desk in the shop and was able to hit the Claremore machine, so decided I'd start checking in and talking to folks. But, uh, yeah, look up my original call sign, and you'll see some different stats there. All right there. Well, uh, you know, uh, we got to talk to our record keepers there because uh, they only look at the current call sign, but uh, that makes a good point because I see number three is uh, Alex and number four is Ray, so you beat both of them. So uh, there you go. Well, Jairus, it's so great to hear you, my friend, and uh, you mobile safely out there, and uh, we'll have to catch up there uh, one of these days soon. Uh, we'll say 73 to you for now, and that brings me over to John K E U I B. Good afternoon. EPC from KUIB. Good afternoon, Dustin. Everybody out there on the net. Just want to chime in this afternoon and say hello. And uh, and uh, how I first heard about the net was uh, Nick's good old plug. Um, you know, every Wednesday morning. And then I usually hear you and Nick uh, as I'm finishing off my lunch break in my truck. I hear you guys getting ready for the beat or for the border breaker net. And I'm happy that this net has been able to become a part of my work week. And uh, I enjoy chiming in every Wednesday, and I thank you guys for running it. With that, this is KUIB living a five-hour dream. A nickel at a time. 7-3, y'all. All right there, John. Well, we're glad to have you, and uh, we're glad to have you on the net. Your first check-in, it looks like, was uh, 4 or 5 of 23, and you checked in at 92 times. So uh, there you are. We'll say 73. We're going to flick a nickel into the jar for you, and uh, we'll catch you down the log. Let's jump on over to Eddie now, W3ETV. Uh, Eddie, how did you first hear about the net? And your first check-in was 12, 27, and 21, and you checked in 738 times. Well, thank you, Dustin. Yeah, I uh, think I first heard about it on the... Uh, Net Scraper uh, web page. Uh, Net Scraper is uh, also very similar to the RagChu app there. Uh, in fact, I used Net Scraper for a long, long time, but uh, now that the RagChu app is there, I'm switched over to the RagChu app. So, uh, yeah, I think I believe on, I usually watch, uh, you know, uh, before I used to watch uh, Net Scraper for any nets that might come up that I could join. And uh, now I use right to uh, see if there's any nets that I might join. Uh, the nice thing, of course, about right to is the fact that they have the uh, monitor there where you can actually type in messages, and it will appear in the blue screen of that script, uh, that monitor stuff. <laughs> of course, you know all that. Uh, for the people that don't know that, I guess that might be some new information for them there. And I uh, hope 
it's not raining in your area there because it is really raining here in Annapolis. Uh, the wife told me this morning, she said, it's a very gloomy day. And she told me, she's almost, almost scary. <laughs> I told her, I said, well, I said, as long as it's just rain, not snow, not anything else, we're in good shape, I guess. But uh, we're, we're a little high up on a hill, so I don't think we're going to have any problem with flooding. But if it keeps on raining, I might need to get myself a kayak or a canoe or something, uh, you know, to go down to the regular store that we have. Not too far away. Uh, they're a little lower than we are, so they might be flooded. So <laughs> I might need to just take the uh, the uh, canoe and just come right into through the front door and pick up what I need right out through the, through the other door. So <laughs> anyway, I'll turn it back to you there, Justin. All right there, Eddie. Well, great to have you with us. Uh, let's see. Uh, your first check-in, like I said, was 1227 of 21. You've checked in 738 times. And, uh, boy, it's not raining here, but I'll tell you what, if it does keep raining there and you have to take your uh, – your kayak or your canoe to go uh, grocery shopping, you should probably invest in a flat bottom John boat. Way more stable and you can carry a lot more groceries than that. So uh, there you are. Eddie will say 73 and we'll catch you down the log. And that brings me over to number three on the log, K5 AVF. Alex, you've checked in according to this 1,473 times and uh, thanks for keeping good records. Uh, go ahead there. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Dustin. KDATPC, this is K5AVF Alex here, 10 miles south of Tulsa. We've got uh, 57 degrees with a 6 mile an hour wind out of the north. 6 actually is pretty light right now. It's been gusting uh, quite uh, uh, plentiful here. Uh, Dustin, I ought to, uh, ought to explain a couple of things about the uh, roster counts that you're reading from. Uh, we didn't keep the, the uh, net log uh, roster for the, or uh, uh, logs for the first four days of the net. So uh, April 3rd, 4, 5, and 6, we do not have records for, so we don't know who checked in. But if we were going to do that, we should put uh, Ray at the top there because uh, he and Johnny and I think um, uh, Ron were the uh, uh, NCOs at the start. So there you go. Uh, so they should have one, two, three, and four. But uh, the way that works is it uh, sorts them by alph alphabetical, by uh, uh, call sign, and then assigns numbers to them. So uh, uh, that's how I ended up with number three. Anyway, uh, uh, and uh, uh, let me let this drop, and then I'm going to come back to you. I wanted to tell you about April 7th of 2020. Uh, I uh, checked in t with uh, with Ray on the uh, on the net. Uh, I had talked to Ray a few times before, and I told him I said that uh, if you need some help with the uh, net controls, uh, let me know. I'd uh, glad be glad to volunteer, and he put me to work the very next hour, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. So there you go, uh, Dustin. That's the story. K D eight E P C K five Avia. Back to you. All right there, Alex. Well, uh, glad to have you with us today. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, that's funny because uh, I, I had Ray call me and uh, I asked him one day, I was like, hey, can I run a I run an hour of the net? And uh, I ran an hour of the net on a Wednesday. And uh, then after that, it was just history. I started running every Wednesday after that. And uh, that's the story. And uh, we really enjoy it. So uh, we'll say 73 to you, Alex. Thanks again for joining us. And uh, we look forward to hearing you again there real soon. Uh, let's go over to Mr. Ray now, K5CFY. Your first check-in was a uh, 4-7 of 20, according to that, but uh, as they uh, said, the first few days of logs were missing. And uh, you've checked in 2,114 times. Take it away, Ray. KD8 EPC in the net, the is 5 cfy well, I first heard about a net on the April 1st. Uh, Johnny called me and said, what do you think about a net in the afternoon? Kind of a health and welfare net. I thought he was joking because it was uh, April Fool's. And he said, no, no, really, let's uh, have a net. And uh, 
so we got a hold of uh, Jeff and some of the other guys uh, about it. They thought it was great, so uh, that's how it got started. And uh, yeah, like uh, Alex said, uh, we uh, we did the paper logs until uh, uh, Alex uh, showed, uh, I guess, Johnny the net logger, and it just evolved from there. But I do want to thank Silver Creek Amateur Radio Club for helping us celebrate our fourth year anniversary of the Border Breaker Net. Appreciate everybody that checks in. If it wasn't for all the check-ins, there wouldn't be a net. We've had, uh, what, 92,000-plus uh, uh, check-ins with 3,800-plus uh, 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 different call signs. So it's great. Uh, it's hard to believe it's uh, lasted, but uh, I definitely enjoy it. And again, thanks uh, you and Nick for uh, coming up, uh, helping us out on the anniversary. 73, everybody, take care. K5, CFY. I'm so sorry. My wife asked me a question at the wrong time. Uh, she's uh, down the road trying to get shoe sizes for the kids. All right. Hi, yeah, I, yeah. How did I get uh, known about it? Let me see if I'm still on the repeater. I apologize. This is a dead zone in this area. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of being that uh, nobody told me, but I was down there watching trains in Petersburg, Virginia, Listen to my guys that like to talk about trains and watch them come through. And then all of a sudden, some guy had a amateur radio with him, a Yesu, and I overheard him guys talking. I said, I never heard these guys before. And then I said, what do you got there? And he said, I just listen to ham radio. I don't talk on it. I said, let me check the frequency out. And I did. And then I realized I didn't have a 220 band radio at the time. So now about seven of them. And they're all tri bands, and I met you guys, and I told my wife, I said, I just love talking to the people all over the country and and also uh, across the water. So that's how I got started. Uh, no one told me about it for some reason, and that was my way and my venture to connect with y'all. All right there, Jeff. Well, uh, we're glad you found us in a... Uh, You've kind of become a regular, too. Uh, I've talked to you quite a few times. Your first check-in was 515 of 23, and you've checked in 132 times. So uh, how about that? We're going to say 73, and that brings me down to Butch. KC5JVT, take it away. Yes, sir, Dustin. Thank you there. It's uh, 62 degrees down here on the sunny side of the Arbuckle Mountains, Ardmore, Oklahoma. It's kind of cool out. You need a jacket to stay out there very long. Wind, it's about 15 mile an hour wind, so it's kind of cool, you know. But everything's quiet down here. Uh, you're asking uh, how, how I found out about the net. Well, Dustin, I can't believe you're asking me that. I can't even tell you what I had for breakfast yesterday. <laughs> but anyway, oh, I love the day. It takes me back to 1994 when I first started in ham radio. We had a pretty active net on Sunday night at 9 p.m. here in Ardmore. And over the years, it kind of died out. The older hams kind of died off and People lost interest, but 
I'm sure thankful for the boredom breaker in this. I love every minute of it. With that, I'm going to turn it back over to Net Control with Casey 5 jvt Clear. All right, there, Butch. Well, thanks so much for uh, joining us there. And uh, your first check-in was 228 of 23. You checked in at 225 times. So uh, we're going to say 73 to you. And that brings me to our uh, friend in the north here, KHGV. Uh, Dave, what's going on up north? And uh, your first check-in was 814 of 23. And uh, I know you've checked in more than 13 times. Take it away. Good afternoon from KGB. I'd say I've checked in 13 times in the last couple of weeks, usually about half a dozen per week. And uh, I'm one of those people who have to put an asterisk next to the call because I started as, as K7DR uh, when the border breakers that first started. And I, I think I was on here not too long after the net started, probably back that first month or so in, in 2020. I used to uh, get on the... Uh, uh, 220 net all the time, the Oklahoma 220 net, and used to talk to uh, to Johnny and to uh, to Terry, uh, Mr. Very Slow Farmer, and uh, heard about the net uh, from them. So uh, eventually, when they, things were kind of like uh, not always regularly connected all the time in the beginning, but then uh, I was able to get into it on, on All Star. I would say I got it going pretty more regularly. So. Uh, uh, so we've been here since uh, almost the very beginning. So although I've been more active out here in the last uh, a year or so than I was toward uh, the beginning, that's, that's where I just built my uh, 220 uh, all-star node. and was looking for, uh, I stumbled across the Oklahoma 220 group and first talked to, uh, to Johnny and uh, Terry over there. And here I am today. So for me, uh, it's uh, whatever K7DR says plus uh, KGB combined. So back to you. Thanks for writing that, and have a good day from KGB. All right there, Dave. Well, uh, great to have you. And, uh, I, I don't play with 220 much. I used to have a radio, but uh, it quit working. So uh, there you go. But uh, my all-star node, the one here at the house, runs on uh, 440, and then I have a... Uh, high-powered one that runs off two meters using Motorola radios, so uh, there you are. Uh, I uh, got the correction there. It's 133 on KGB. I'm not sure what it was on your old call, but 133 on your new call. So there you are. We'll say 73, and that brings me down to a good friend of ours that I haven't heard in a while. N-A-J-E-W, Joe, says it's your first time on the net, so uh, welcome to the Border Breaker Net and uh, to the fourth anniversary edition. Take it away. Hello there, Dustin and everybody on the net. Not a whole lot going on here today, but, uh, yeah, I, I kind of thought it was my first time checking into this net. I I remember hearing it several times on the Beacon Net and the one previous to the Beacon Net, um, hearing people talk about it, but I just never never bothered turning uh, radio on in the afternoon to, or, um, yeah, around the afternoon to notice that the net was even on. So it just happened to have my radio, I left my radio on last night, and come down here and sure enough there was a net going on so I was sitting there listening I, yeah, I might as well check in while I'm here anyway see uh, glad to glad to be able to get in there and uh, maybe catch you on the beacon net tonight if I remember <laughs> remember a good time to get in there and uh, other than that I uh, can't think of anything else to add to the net N-A-J-E-W back to you All right there, Joe. Well, uh, glad to have you here on the Border Breaker Net. Uh, feel free to stick around. Uh, Ray will be taking over at the top of the hour, and they welcome retech checks, so he'd, uh, he'd love to chat with you, too. So, uh, come time, me and Nick run the first hour every Wednesday, and the uh, WHWKY is linked both hours. And uh, I don't know, uh, I think uh, I think the 015 is also, so there you go. We'll say 73T for now, and... Uh, that brings me over to Thomas, M7LGM. Uh, good afternoon. Your first check-in was 3-9 of 24, and it says you checked in 10 times. Uh, how'd you hear about the net? Take it away. Uh, 
Um, 7 LGM. Yeah, my name's Thomas. I'm 28 years old. Yeah, I passed in January 2024. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I find out about, about the net. Uh, I did find a couple of useful websites. Um, I found one website which shows what sort of nets are currently happening. It sort of great. Uh, sort of, you know, when you go on net log and it sort of shows you all the nets that are on. It, there's a website that sort of shows you all the nets that are sort of currently on. So I might have found it that way. Or I know there's various websites with various lists on and things. Uh, yeah, also, um, I think someone recently created a, a website to um, create sort of directory of various nets that are on. And so I've been going, all the nets that I've been um, uh, discovering things, I've been adding to it. Uh, so yeah, uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The time is 6:47 p.m. Uh, yeah, we're about one hour ahead of UTC. We recently changed the clocks uh, uh, on the 31st of March. On the Sunday, we changed our clocks on the last Sunday of March. Uh, yeah, it's about 10 degrees Celsius, or about which is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, back to net control from M7LGA. All right there, Thomas. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, it's good to have you with us. And, uh, it is 1.47 p.m. here and uh, 43 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy, according to the computer. And, uh, so, yeah, a little chilly out there today. So glad to have you with us. Come back any time, and it's always a pleasure. We're going to say 73, and we're going to go on down to Donald now. KI5 at WDM. How did you first hear about the net? Now, your first check-in was 7, 8, or 22. You've checked in 480 times. Take it away. This is Kivo India 5 Whiskey Delta Mike. Good afternoon, everybody. Wow, that surprised me. I didn't think it had been that many times, but yeah, it's been a couple of years, I guess. Uh, I found this radio in a storage building. I was getting paid to clear out. They told me I could keep whatever I found. Uh, I brought it. There was an antenna, some coax, and this radio, and some other stuff. But I brought it home, put battery to it. It powered up. So I put up the antenna and uh, just started turning the dial till I heard something. And y'all were the first thing I've heard, and I just listened and listened and listened until I went and got my license. And when I got my license, I kept listening. Uh, and then I finally called him. All right there, Donald. Well, how cool you're just uh, scrolling through the uh, or rolling through the band there and uh, hear, hear the net, and then you come and check in with us. So uh, we're glad to have you, and uh, quite the regular, 480 times. So uh, we'll say 73 for now, my friend. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you again there real soon, I'm sure. All right, let's jump on over and talk to Cal W7STT. Your first check-in was uh, 122623, and you've checked in 79 times. Take it away. Hey, yeah, that's it. Uh, well, to answer the 